Hi folks, I'm sure the novelty now is starting to wear off a little bit and you're getting a little bit fed up at home. So today we're going to give you um, a little bit of variety, different forms of press-ups that you can do. Um, you can make your own press-up circuit, starting with the easiest and we'll gradually work up to some more advanced press-ups for some of the older ones of you. Um, you may be wondering how I'm able to get and go into the dojo and I'm not at home and the answer is quite simple uh, I don't live far from here so I can walk get my daily exercise walk into the dojo produce the videos the films do all the business work that I need to do and try and keep the, the dojo um, clean and disinfected so that we're ready to go whenever we've got permission um, so I don't need to drive, it's, it's easy for me to get here fortunately and I can keep these things going for you. So press ups, um, this is a recap, particularly for the girls, if you can't do a full press up with your knees up without straining, then under no circumstances are you to strain trying to do those press ups. You must do them with your knees lowered and if your mum wants to know why, drop me an email and I'll tell you why. But the girls do not strain doing press-ups, all right? They should still be fairly hard work, but you definitely shouldn't be straining doing them. Uh, for the younger children, you can do them with your knees down and I'll show you some even easier ones to do to get you started. And you'll be surprised how quickly you'll start to build your strength up. Um, for the people that are studying and obviously studying really hard at home, doing something like this, say after an hour's study, actually helps you study, it helps you retain the information better. You can think about what you've been studying while you're training, while you're working out, gets the oxygen moving around your brain, the blood supply moving, helps you to rejuvenate all those brain cells and then you can get back to your studying a little bit refreshed. So you could do a press up circuit after an hour, an ab circuit, a set of legs, a bit of skipping, uh, go for a little walk or a jog and get back to your studying again. So having that routine is, is actually good for your work rate, it's good for your studying, it's good for your health and good for your mental well-being. All right, so let's get into this. The first one, really, really easy especially if you can't do press-ups very well, is make sure your hands are nice and clean, don't put fingerprints on your mum's wall. Put your hand on the wall, put your feet back a little bit, and just do a nice, easy press-up against the wall, just like that. This is also good for rehab. If you're recovering from an elbow injury or a, if you've had a, an accident or something like that, these are nice and easy to do to get some strength back into those muscles. And then gradually, you can put your feet a little bit further back, make it a bit harder, and push their press-ups against the wall. Nice and easy. The knees down press-ups, you get into a full press-up position. Your hands, same width as your shoulders, down onto the floor, back really, really rigid, nice and straight with your head up and then lower your knees, and now we put the elbows back, blow out, breathe in, blow out. All right, nice and easy. If you can do those, then you can go on a chair, and the same thing here, legs right nice and straight, down, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, there, you could use steps, so if you've got steps at home, this are steps of use your imagination, so these are just your steps at home, you can do the same thing on there, like that, and those are a little bit easier. Once you can do those, then just go back to a full press up, just on the floor here, again back straight, head up, don't be dropping your head down, head up there, so you put your chin down, and push up, nice easy press up. Some variations on that, 
wide arm press ups. Just put your arms out, point your fingers out a little bit, legs out wider, and then down. Push up, just there. Wide arm press up, a little bit tougher. Put your fingers and your hands together. This time, you point your elbows outwards. Here, down, push there. Tricep press ups. These are a little bit harder. If you need to put your knees down, just put your knees down. Don't worry about it. Okay, if you find them a little bit easier, you can keep those going. And then when you get stronger, then you can start to raise your knees up. All right, if you get better than that, back to your chair. You can put your feet up onto the chair. Back nice and straight. And start doing your press-ups from here. These are a little bit harder. And then if you want to work your shoulders, just go into a pike position with your arms wider and press from here. This works your shoulders and different muscle groups. And again, you can do that on the stairs. So you run the steps. First step here, press up, walk your feet back. Next step back, press up. There, and that gets a little bit harder for you. If you've got a gym ball or a fit ball at home, then you can use this. This helps all your core muscles work as well. As you're balancing, so just go across to that. Walk yourself out. So your feet are on the ball, just here. Press up, pike. Press up, pike. And from there, there we go. Okay, all sorts of press ups that you can do. Um, I'll show you some more advanced press ups in a second for all, some of the older people. Okay, we're back. Just wanted to move those steps out of the way. So, for some more challenging press ups, from your basic press up position here, so this is elbows back, not sticking out. From there. Now what we can do is we can start to walk, walk, press up, walk, press up. This is then using a whole range of different muscles as well as those that you're using for your normal press up. Okay, so feet and hands, feet and hands, side to side. The next we can do is just move one hand to the side, point this way, press up, Back to normal, move the other hand, and then press up there, okay? Nice easy range. Next one is we press up as we go up. We twist, back down, other control, down, up, twist, under control, back, and keep those going from there. Next one, a little bit tricky, spider press up. We've done these before in the dojo. So as you go down, knee up, press, knee up, press. Don't let the knee touch the floor. Down, press, down, press. There we go. So if you mix those with the wide arm press ups, tricep press ups, normal press-ups and the range I've just seen you, you'll be flying in no time, all right? Keep a log of what you do, write them down, and then see how you progress, and you'll be surprised how much you improve. If you want to know how many to do, say you're going to do a circuit, do normal press-ups until you can't do any more. Whether it's knees down or knees up doesn't make any difference but do them till you just can't do another one and then get about 70% of those and that's the number you should do. All right, so if you can do 100 press ups, well done, do sets of 70. Good effort, all right, have fun, see you soon, bye.